Today, once again, we've got a band of heavy rain and hill snow pushing northwards and eastwards. Ahead of it, northern Scotland, some sunshine but cold. Behind it, for southern England and Wales, it will brighten up and it's going to be very mild for the time of year. I'll have all the details later in the programme. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm going to carry on with the weather. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Now, if you are heading out today, these are the kind of temperatures that we've seen recently. It's minus four in Balmoral. Right now, earlier in the night, it was minus seven in Cambrace in Scotland. Edinburgh three, Bradford four, Belfast six. And then we get into the really mild air already. 10 in London, 11 in Cardiff. We've also had a lot of rain moving northwards and eastwards. Of course, this is exacerbating the current flooding situation. And we've had some hill snow as well across the hills of Northern England and also Scotland. Now that will continue through the day. Most of the snow is going to be above 200 metres or so. And in fact, the snow level will rise across the Pennines through the course of the day. But we could start to see it accumulate at 200 metres, for example, in the Highlands and Grampians. Now, behind that, it will brighten up. We'll see some sunshine coming through before the next band of rain comes in from the west. And Wales in the southwest remaining fairly cloudy and drizzly. Some sunshine in the far north, but still quite cold here. Two in Larwick, but 14 in London. Nugget and Charlie, the average in the southeast at this time of year is about 7.7, .7, so that's way above average. Carol, thanks very much. Pleasure. He tell you, Charlie, it is from our library. Now, what the forecast is for today is quite complicated. We've got some rain and some mostly hill snow pushing northeastwards. I say mostly because in some of the heavier bursts, you could see some of that get down to lower levels. But at lower levels, it's more than likely going to be sleet or indeed rain. Mild air is coming in from the Atlantic. We still have cold air embedded in the north. And where the two join, this is where we're seeing some of that hill snow. And it's been snowing already this morning across parts of northern England and also Scotland. And that will continue, although the snow level across the North Pennines, for example, rising through the course of the afternoon. Heavy rain at the moment across around Chester, for example, Cheshire generally and Manchester. So this is what we're looking at as we go through the course of the afternoon. Again, all this snow eventually moving out of northern England, moving northwards across Scotland, where we will see quite a bit accumulating above 200 metres. But on the other side of that, well, it will be drier, it will be brighter, there'll be some sunshine before the next band of rain comes in from the, the, the west. And the other thing worth mentioning is if you're in the southwest of Wales, it's going to be fairly cloudy or drizzly for you before this rain comes along. But look at those temperatures, Northern Ireland, England and Wales roughly between 10 and 14 degrees. That is above average for this time of year, but we're still in the colder air in the far north of England and also Scotland, where we're looking at between four and seven degrees. Now through this evening and overnight, our band of wintry weather moves northwards across Scotland. The rain coming in from the southwest pushes northwards as well, and eventually the two will merge. At the same time, we've got showers coming in across the west through Wales, southwest England, they're going to be drifting eastwards. Some of those will be heavy and thundery. And you can see just by looking at the temperatures for Northern Ireland, England and Wales, it's going to be a mild night, but it's going to be a cold one across Scotland. In rural areas, temperatures will be around about freezing or just above or below. So we will see some frost and the risk of ice as well. Now, tomorrow's a messy picture because as our fronts have merged, they're going to start to sink south and weaken, taking their cloud and remnants of patchy rain and wintriness with them in doing so. It will brighten up behind with a fair bit of sunshine, still cold in Scotland, wintry showers in the Northern Isles, and we'll see some brightness coming through across England and Wales with the showers from earlier in the day tending to peter out, with highs here of 12 degrees, so still above average for the time of year. Then the forecast for the weekend gets complicated. We've got fronts moving across us, an area of low pressure, and then on Sunday itself, another front coming in from the west. What's making it complicated is just how far north this rain is going to get. So it's going to be largely dry in many areas with some sunshine, but note how the temperature's going down. So as this rain starts to move northwards, how quickly it engages with the cold air will determine whether or not we see any snow. We think at the moment it's largely going to be hill snow across parts of Wales, possibly into the Midlands as well. Like and Charlie. Carol's been saying. <laughs> Bless you, Charlie. There's a lot of love for you this oh, evening. <laughs> Today we've got a band of heavy rain and mostly hill snow pushing northwards and eastwards. Ahead of it, northern Scotland, cold with some sunshine, and behind it for the rest of the UK. It will brighten up and it will be very mild for the time of year. I'll have all the details later in the programme.
going to be even milder today, Naga. Good morning, everybody, depending, of course, on where you are. So what we have today is a band of some heavy rain and mostly hill snow and the heavier bursts you could see some down to lower levels, but at lower levels, generally speaking, it will be sleet or indeed rain and it's pushing northeastwards. So we still have the cold air ensconced across the north, but we've got all this mild air coming in from the Atlantic across the rest of the UK. And where the two meet, this is where we've got the heavy rain and the hill snow. Hill snow across Northern England, Southern Scotland, moving into the Highlands and Grampians as we go through the course of the day, where we'll see some significant accumulations above about 200 metres. Now behind that, it will be drier, brighter, and milder at 13 or 14 degrees, but quite cloudy and drizzly in Wales and Southwest England. And then the next band of rain arrives in from the west and that too is going to be pushing northwards and eastwards. So the snow continues across Scotland moving further north. We've got the rain following in hot pursuit. Eventually they will merge and at the same time there's a line of showers coming in across the west of England and Wales. Some of those will be heavy and thundery. That's going to be a mild night for Northern Ireland, England and Wales but colder in Scotland particularly in sheltered glens where we could see some frost and also the risk of ice. So tomorrow a complicated start because we've got our merging fronts sinking south and weakening. The showers across the west drifting east and mostly petering out. There will be some sunshine, wintry showers in the Northern Isles and still mild in the south and cold in the north. Now get in Charlie. Cal Charlie, this is the Erskine Bridge, one of our weather watchers sent it in and it's now in our library. But it shows that it is raining across some parts of the UK and we've also got hill snow. The whole lot of that is moving northwards and eastwards. Well, it's tied in with this area of low pressure, which is all this cloud rotating around it and some heavy rain and some heavy snow on the tops of the hills. But it's also dragging in milder air across many parts of the UK, not so across northern and eastern parts of Scotland in the far northeast of England, but it will remain cold. So we've had a lot of rain as we've gone through the course of the night. We've still got some hill snow across parts of northern England and also southern Scotland into the Highlands and Grampians. But behind that, something brighter will follow on. We'll see some sunshine, quite murky, cloudy and drizzly across Wales in the southwest before more rain arrives later. And the rain continues to advance northwards across Scotland. In fact, by tomorrow morning, we could have as much as 15 to 20 centimetres across the Highlands and Grampians above 200 metres and up to about 15 centimetres, for example, by the end of this afternoon on the tops of the Pennines. Now, temperature wise, four degrees in Aberdeen, two degrees in Lerwick, but very mild for Northern Ireland, much of England and Wales. 14 degrees in London is way above average for this time of year. Through this evening and overnight, you can see how the snow advances northwards across the hills of Scotland. And we've also got a new batch of rain coming up towards the north as well. And that will merge with the band of snow, the two weather fronts, as we go through the course of the night. Now, it's going to be a cold night in Scotland, particularly in the glens. There'll be the risk of ice, some frost as well. But again, for Northern Ireland, for much of England and also Wales, it's going to be a mild night. So as we head on through tomorrow, our two fronts that have merged will slowly start to sink southwards once again, taking their cloud, their showery outbreaks of rain and some wintriness with them. But eventually that will tend to peter out for most of us. Now behind it, in Scotland, there'll be a lot of dry weather, there'll be some sunshine, wintry showers persisting across the Northern Isles. And ahead of it, in South Wales and also Southern England, again, a lot of dry weather with some sunshine and still mild. We're looking at 10s and 11s. But one thing you'll notice compared to today is the colder air is seeping that little bit further south. And then by the end of the day, we've got this weather front waiting in the wings. Now, this one is presenting us with a bit of a problem as to just how far north it's going to travel. And if you bear in mind that we've got this colder air coming south as well, if this rain engages with the cold air, we could see some snow. So our issue is just how far north this is going to go and where we'll see the snow. At the moment, the scenario we think will bring the rain in across Wales and southern England with some hill snow in Wales, possibly into the Midlands as well. But one thing you will notice is it's going to feel cold wherever you are, except for in the far southwest and the Channel Islands. Charlie and Naga. Thanks, Kirk. It really very much depends. So the picture I showed you earlier of the Erskine Bridge is great because you can see the weather and we like having pictures of the weather like rain, like snow, the sunshine, all the elements, the frost. And if they're particularly good, then we do keep them and we'll use them in the future, not just on the day.
Well, challenge accepted. Oh, a weather watcher doesn't send you it's a picture a into thing, weather, weather watchers. Watcher. It is oh, very special. Yes. And there's, there's a competition to choose the best weather watcher of the season. It's not simple, you see. It's not, it's not a sad thing. It's not a sad thing, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, Naga. Pleasure. 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 We've got a band of heavy rain and mostly hill snow pushing northeastwards today. Far north of Scotland, staying dry and cold. Behind that band of rain, it will brighten up and it will be very mild for the time of year. I'll have more details later in the programme. Naga is quite right. At the moment in Exeter, it's 12 degrees, whereas in Aboyne, it's colder. Aboyne is in Aberdeenshire and it's currently minus three. Now, what's happening with the forecast today is we've got a band of rain and mostly hill snow pushing northeastwards. Some of this has been heavy as we've gone through the course of the night. It's been moving steadily towards the north and the east, depositing its snow over the Pennines, also the southern uplands, and it will continue its journey moving northwards in through the Grampians and Highlands through the rest of the day. But behind it, we're looking at brighter skies coming through, some sunshine. And ahead of it too, across the North Highlands, we've got some sunshine with a few showers in Lerwick, where the top temperature today will be two degrees. Compare that to what's happening in the south and Northern Ireland. We're looking at 11 to 14 degrees. Now you can't feel but notice this next system coming in by the end of the afternoon as we go through the evening and overnight. It too is going to follow a similar path in that it's moving northwards and eastwards, eventually joining with this band here. So these are two fronts merging. We've also got some showers coming in across Wales, western parts of England. Some of those could be heavy and thundery, but tonight it's going to be mild for Northern Ireland, England and Wales, whereas it's going to be pretty cool across Scotland. These temperatures are towns and cities in sheltered glens. You can expect some frost and of course there's a risk of ice. As we head through tomorrow, our two merged fronts sink south as a weak feature. Brighter skies follow on behind with some wintry showers in the north, some sunshine in the south where we're just clinging onto the milder air by the skin of our teeth. But now again, Charlie, that is going to change over the weekend. <laughs> I must say, the weather isn't very summer-like today at all. Not anywhere, although some of us will have temperatures way above where they should be at this stage in January. What we have is a band of rain and hill snow continuing to move northeastwards. So ahead of it, we're still in the cold air and will be for the next few days. But you can see all this mild air pumping in from the Atlantic. And in between, we've got all this rain and the hill snow. Now, the snow level will rise across the North Pennines as we go through the day. But you can see some more snow falling across the Southern Uplands, the Highlands and the Grampians and significant amounts above 200 metres. Behind all of that, we'll see brighter skies return and some rain coming in from the southwest. And our band of snow continues to migrate northwards across Scotland. So by tomorrow morning, above 200 metres in the Highlands and Grampians, we could have as much as 20 centimetres. By the end of the afternoon, on higher ground, again above 200 metres in the Pennines, particularly the North Pennines, we could have a further 15 centimetres. So it's going to be cold in the north, but for Northern Ireland, much of England and Wales, look at this, 11 to 14 degrees. That is way above average. In London at this time of year, should be around about seven or eight degrees. Now tonight, our band of rain and snow continues to push northwards across Scotland. This next batch of rain comes in hot in its heels and the two merge. At the same time, we'll have some showers, some of those heavy and thundery moving in across western parts of England and also Wales. So once again, for Northern Ireland, England and Wales, it's going to be mild. It's going to be cold though for Scotland, especially in sheltered glens, where temperatures will be hovering around freezing. So there's the risk of ice and also some frost. Now tomorrow our two merged fronts start to slowly sink southwards and weaken. Our showers in the south continue to drift eastwards, most of them petering out, so it'll brighten up and we'll see some sunshine following on into Scotland and Northern Ireland with some wintry showers in the far north. But still cold, that cold air slipping a little further south but still mild in the far south itself. Saturday's forecast has changed from what I've been telling you through the course of this morning. So it's still giving us a bit of a headache in that this rain coming in, just how far north it's going to go will have a bearing on what happens. So we've got a lot of dry weather and cold air sinking southwards. And we could well see some rain for a time across parts of Northern Ireland, as well as some snow. Some snow across northwest England, Wales, into the Midlands, possibly London and the southeast. And in the Welsh hills, we could have significant snow, but we could even see some snow to lower levels across the Midlands, something worth bearing in mind. But as I say, there's still some uncertainty about that, so do keep tuned to the forecast. Charlie and Naga. Glued to 